Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we will learn how to get into MySQL server and how to check if everything is fine, okay, with actual connection. Now we are into index.php file and that file is inside of root of my web server, okay. In your case that may be something else, but the thing is that my server is working totally fine. Of course we don't see any kind of content here because we don't have anything on our page. Okay, so that's cool. So let's proceed with a configuration for connection with parameters. So config, okay, and we need to state here what is our target, where our server resides basically, IP, domain, subdomain, um, something like that. So that server will be named for that, like variable, and actual data will be localhost. Okay, so if you have hosting, of course, here you will use your subdomain or domain or something like that. But because we are practicing here, localhost on my PC will get the job done. Right, the next thing is user. Now user, in my case, will be root. Why? Okay, let me show that. So if I go to phpMyAdmin to user account, and this is a new installation basically, by default I have a root with all privileges and we don't have any kind of password. So that's for simplicity reasons. Now some people will say, well that's not secure, but this is for testing purposes like a throwaway system. Of course, we are not doing anything that is related to actual production and so on, so don't worry about security, just be focused on simplicity of connection to server, okay? Right, of course, of course you need to pay attention when you are putting those things on internet, but in my case, I don't care about security right now. Right, now we don't have password in my case. If you do have your password set up, then type that here. So if when you don't have a password, you'll just use two double quotes combined together, okay, so no space in here. Now why I do have these parameters in this order? Well, let me show something. See, uh, this is a documentation for MySQL connect function. So that's actually alias of MySQL I construct, okay, and if you scroll down there, forget about this pile of examples, you will see that they listed parameters in specific order. So we need to provide host, username, password, database name and port and so on and so on. But for, for now it is just enough to have server and username and password and we have those things in my case, okay. Forget about database name, we don't have those things yet, we didn't create it, okay. Now down there we need to have actual connection. So these are like parameters and now we need to get inside. So a section will be uh, establishing connection, a connection to my SQL server. So this is just a comment, okay? If you guys are total beginners, this thing in green with the two slashes in front is just uh, comments, okay? And now let's say that name will be for our operation, well, connection. You can use something else, it's totally on you. What function we need to use? Well, MySQL I connect, okay. In specific order parameters, server, and then user, obviously, first user and then password, not in a reverse, so password. And don't forget to close your command because if you don't do that, you'll run into all kinds of problems. So this is just connection. Now we need to have section where we will check for, connect, uh, for if everything is fine with connection, if our connection is successful. So check connection and down there we will use if statement like if not connection this basically, oops, so this means, this exclamation mark uh, means that if this fails, we need to print something. So this is like if connection is not successful, okay, we will print like echo 
uh, check parameters, check config, or is server alive at all? Something like that. This is custom error message. Okay, error message in case of error. Now, that's one option. Now, other option using else will be if everything is fine. So this is if something is wrong and now we have option if everything is fine because it cannot be both of those in the same time. So echo and uh, connection successful. I think that's two S here. So sorry, I'm not native English speaker and I create those kind of one letter error. Now let's save those things and let me check one more. Okay, so yep, SQLI, dollar, 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 down there, uh, semicolons, right. So save and let's check our page, refresh and connection successful. Okay, now let's, let's use wrong things to get into error because I want you to see what's gonna happen when we have error. So let's use something non-existing stupid password here, like totally random rubbish. Save and refresh and warning. Okay, access is denied for that specific user at local cost and we are using password. And in our MySQL, uh, in PHP MyAdmin, we see that we don't have a password. Okay, so this is like normal uh, no, normal error, but also we have our custom information, check config or is server alive, okay? Now, all, also we can use something else, because see, right here we are doing custom error message, but we can also print like default generic one using this thing, die, okay? So let's delete our custom message and here we can group custom message plus generic message. So let's say uh, on our side, we'll just print total fail or disaster, whatever. It's totally on us. And then we will concatenate that custom message with a function that will grab things from system with information about error. And that thing will be MySQL I connect error. Okay, and because this is a function, do not forget semi uh, brackets, okay, and semicolon. So save and refresh and see uh, here, when we don't have uh, generic information from system using this, we have just custom stuff. But now using a new code, when we click on refresh, we will have custom stuff plus additional generic stuff. Okay, so let's actually have here some space and yeah, we can also use some HTML like here, H2, H3, whatever. And now the things will look nicer. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, now you know how to set parameters, how to uh, establish connection and how to check if everything is fine with connection. So if every, everything is fine, this will be printed, connection successful, and if something is wrong, okay, then this will be printed. And I advise you to use die and not too much of echoes because then you will have more informations because over time you will forget your custom messages or they are done by some other programmers. But when you have MySQL I connect error, that's additional information and you know where to look for. Okay, in the next tutorial, we are going to get into system and we will create database. Okay, and that's, that's very fancy. So thank you for watching as always for support and subscription and see you there.